when you get your CV Life Reflex Red Dot Sight, it's going to come in a hard shell case like this. That's a really nice added plus. It's good for transport when it's sold, but also for holding on to in the future. You can go ahead and take the optic out. Feels really nice and robust in your hand. Has some good weight behind it. I want to talk about what's inside the box. You're going to get some CR2032s, which are kind of standard batteries. It's nice it runs on that, as well as your hardware, kind of the standard optics kit you're going to get for maintaining and zeroing and then keeping the lenses clean. There's a little bit of an instruction manual in there. I think you definitely want to look at that if you're not familiar with red dots in general. I'm going to go ahead and mount it on a Sunway Photo rail here just so you can get an idea of what it's like to also look through it. All right, guys, so what I'm going to show you here, if you're looking on the bottom, I'm zoomed in right here. I'm not focused on the reticle, so don't worry about that blur. But if you look right here, it shows you each of the reticle options. So the first one is kind of a cross with an opening in the middle and a dot. It's a little bit of a th thicker reticle. And so the intensity is uh, just easier to see because there's a lot there to reflect. And then I'll move it down. This is actually my favorite one out of all of them. This one is just kind of a cross with a small dot, a precision dot in the middle. I find this to be the most useful because it's kind of like a stadia up and down and side to side. So you can kind of use it for windage holds or... Um, ele elevation holds to some degree as well with that precision dot being in the middle and it doesn't obstruct because it's it's open in there moving on down kind of a similar idea you have a donut or a full donut but it's got a little bit of a break up at the bottom at the top so kind of the 12 the 3 the 6 and the 9 o'clock there's a little bit of a break up in there but it's got a dot in the reticle center again for kind of a precision hold and then the very last one which is a good one for zeroing, is just a dot, and it's a little bit tighter than all the other ones. It doesn't obstruct very much, and it's a very small, uh, kind of intense point to look at. But the other ones are maybe a little better for speed and easier to pick up for your eye. It's just slightly bigger. Now I'm going to go ahead and focus on the reticle itself so you can see what that looks like, as well as my camera will do here. So looking at the reticle, you can see that it does have those points that stick up and down, and the intensity, again, if I were to lower the intensity on the left side of the optic, I can make it go all the way down. You can still see it, it's visible, but just barely. Probably be good for dusk or early morning. And then as the sun comes out, you can go pretty bright. This is definitely daylight bright. I've used it in the daytime, and I can see it all the way through. Moving on, this is again my favorite style of the reticle. You can see why I like it. Gives you a little bit of a stadia type in each direction and then some opening and that precision center dot and it's plenty bright moving to the center dot this is a little bit more kind of like uh, maybe you've seen something like an eotech reticle this reminds me of something similar to that with that precision dot and the circle around easy for your eye to acquire and get onto a target very quickly with something like that moving on down again a more precision dot a precise dot if you needed to zero, or you're shooting tiny little groups, something to that nature, or you have really good vision, this would be something for you. So that 2032 battery is going to go right inside this compartment right there. Nice and convenient, not difficult to get at, and it comes with a screwdriver for taking the cap off inside of your hardware kit there. And so everything's provided, all that you need to get inside of there, and those batteries last a long time. I'm going to tell you that uh, as long as you turn it off when you're done by holding those buttons for about five seconds, uh, those side buttons, the actuators, as long as you follow those instructions when you're done shooting it, that battery is going to last quite a long time. It's really impressive. I think the technology has come a long ways in the recent years, uh, specifically with battery life and red dots. So as you can see, there's some anti-glare on that lens. Very convenient and useful for sunny days and just keeping the optic as usable as possible in differing conditions where it's not exactly conducive to looking through a piece of glass. There's a little bit of an anti-reflection, anti-smudge coating on that lens. Again, this is being distributed by CV Life. You can check them out on Amazon. It's a very affordable and adaptable optic. It's gonna fit a lot of people's budgets and price points. And I think you're gonna like these reticle options. They're pretty cool. And just the fact that you can do a lot with them, you can change the intensity and the design, very, very versatile for lots of kinds of shooting.